Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. Uh, my name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. And I was reading through the comments. I, I was watching a Dave Ramsey thing um, just recently and he's talking about a budget, he's talking about all these things. I just wanted to share kind of what I do uh, if you guys are interested in terms of budgeting and all that stuff. Uh, so what I've done in my early 20s when I first started working for a major you know, company and getting more income on a full-time job. I, uh, I've never done a budget in my life. I don't, I don't even watch what I spend. I, I do literally nothing like that. Now, what I do do, which is different than I think probably everyone else is I prioritize my investments. Like that's what drives me. So I don't sit there and, and, and go buy things just to buy things. I, it, it has no value in my life to do that. Uh, if if it does if something won't bring me satisfaction for a good period of time, I won't I won't buy it. It's it, it's got to either give a, an exceptional value in terms of of an experience or something that I really like doing that I value. I don't buy things just to buy things. So for instance, and and I'm I'm pretty I have this kind of large split uh, of, of what I want. Um, so for instance. Right, uh, I still drive the original car I bought in 2005. 2005, I think I bought a car in 2005. I'm still driving it. I bought it new for seven thousand five hundred dollars. It's a Chevrolet Aveo. It's, it's a cheap little car. Uh, it continues to run. I've got one hundred and sixty thousand miles on it, um, and and I, I continue to drive it. And I know how to fix it, so I will continue to drive it until it is done. Uh, my wife drives a 2004 honda civic we still she bought that one brand new uh, i still drive it still provides value it still works i know how to fix everything on it we just can continue to drive it there's no reason then i bought two other cars an rx7 and an rx8 uh, because i like cars a lot and if you notice my daily drivers are the most economical thing i can ever purchase and then i bought those two at bottoms of the market for very cheap uh, and i think i've actually made money on on the RX-7, <clears throat> I fixed that one up, but uh, I bought those because I really like cars. I just, I, I, I like cars, I like motorcycles, I like those types of things going fast, going around corners, I really, really like that. Now, I don't have a budget, and I, I focus on every month, how much money can I invest? That's it. What can I maximize? How much, where can I save money? So my entire thing isn't about, it's not about what I spend on. I don't spend anything I don't spend on anything that doesn't improve my life. Doesn't improve my life, I don't want it. Uh, so that goes for, for like almost anything. I don't, I don't drink coffee. I don't drink, I don't drink anything but water. I drink 100% water, nothing else. And it's, and it's from a, the uh, refrigerator with a filter on it. That's it. And so I replace the filter once every, I don't know, five, six months, something like that. Uh, so I don't, I don't buy bottled water. I don't buy any of that stuff. I don't, I mean, if, if I need it for going somewhere, yeah, but I don't, like, I don't drink bottled water at home. I know some people do that. I, uh, I maintain all my cars myself. I, I do the maintenance on it. I, if I need a clutch, I put the clutch in. If I need to do oil changes, I do oil changes. I do all of it myself. Uh, you, I can do an oil change for about $14, $13 with a filter. That's what the cost is. Uh, it's actually a little bit less because I use four quarts per per uh, car or per oil change because they're both four cylinder engines, uh, and it's four quarts in both the RX7 and RX8. I uh, so I don't do any budgeting. I don't do any of that stuff. I, <clears throat> I I literally look at how much money I can put in investments, and I try to hit as much as I can. So each month, it's not about having a budget and allocating money over. Uh, it's about how basically the the opposite i say if i can put as much money towards investments that's what i'm going to do uh, and then i i do invest i don't really invest I, I do spend money on like kids doing things that's basically what i do but i i live like a monk i literally buy nothing all year long put it all into investments uh, and the only thing i really buy is i bought tires this year for for one of the wheels but it's debatable because I sold my old set for as much as I bought everything for. I sold another set that I had that I bought for really cheap. I made 400 bucks on it. 
I bought other another set that's wider, 18 by 11, that I could run on the RX-8, and I bought some tires. And they were all very good deals. So that was the only thing I purchased uh, this past year, but I also sold something of the same value. So I, I made money, actually, uh, on all those deals, probably four or $500, even though I got a new set of wheels and tires. So I made money by swapping all this stuff. So I, that, that's about all I've purchased. I, I'm trying to think back. I'm, I, I do spend some stuff on some experience stuff. I go racing. It's $50 each time I go. I go once a month just in the summer. Not much money. And you really start to, to look at things, and I, I really don't spend that much money. So I am dedicated, and I value investing. That's, that's kind of my experience. I don't, I don't sit here and, and, and get enjoyment out of spending a bunch of money on things that provide no value or want to me. Uh, I, I have a cheap car. I haven't bought anything for since 2005 car-wise with my daily driver. Uh, and, I, and I bought the other one in 2011 and in 2015. Those are the, the two times. My entire spending in my entire life is probably less than $50,000 or $60,000. So, so anyone who says, oh, you should go buy an electric vehicle, I'm not going to buy anything if I don't have to. That's just how I am. Now, I do own a, a couple of things, but it's, it's really, I'm, I'm pretty lean. And another thing to think of is when you don't own that much stuff, uh, it really keeps your, it's like you, you don't have that drag on you, psychological drag where you've got all this crap. Um, in my opinion, the more stuff that the, the, the less orderly someone is they're the more jacked up psychologically they are. So you can tell how jacked up someone is just by walking into where they live and seeing how clean or dirty it is. It is that simple. And what you'll notice is that most people who are young are very dirty. They're very messed, like messy. It's all messed up. It's because they're not psychologically ironed out. They're not grown up yet. They, they don't have things in order. They're, they're jacked up, messed up, uh, and, and they need time to, to sort everything out. So uh, that, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about in terms of, of budgeting and, and all this stuff. So when I go and I look at all these people on, on, on uh, Dave Ramsey show and all these other ones, I, I, I can't relate to them as much. It's like, if you want to do something, go do it. If I want to invest and retire early, I go do it. I make it a priority. I research this stuff. And if you guys want to be successful investors, you, you're going to have to understand this inside and out of what's on the channel. I mean, you're going to have to know it. You're not going to make money if you don't know this stuff. You're not going to have the patience. You're not going to have the conviction. You're not going to have any of this stuff if, if you want to make money. And if you want to, to save and you want to be a multimillionaire or whatever, it's up to you. Just save it. Pay as much as you can. Save as much as you can. Make it a priority in your life. Value that. Everything in your life is going to orient itself around what you value. If you don't value it, then you're not going to be a millionaire. If you don't value financial freedom, you're never going to get there. You can say you do, but you have to actually want it. And it's, I don't think it's that hard. It, maybe I'm just a little bit different. Maybe that's because I value it. And a lot of other people don't. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, I, I look at things, maybe maybe it's a little bit different. Um, I look at a car. I get, you have two different cars. One's a Mercedes. One's a Honda. Does it matter which one you're going to daily drive? No, you'd go with the cheaper one, go with the Honda. And, and in fact, Honda's more reliable than the, than the more expensive car, the Mercedes or whatever. Why would I not buy the Honda? If I had, if I had a hundred million or $200 million, my life really wouldn't change much. All I would, all I would do is have different, I would have more time. I would not work. Or if I am going to work, I'm going to work at, and do something that I really, really like doing. Um, and right now, like I, I would not work at anything that I that I do. And I was listening to a clip. The clip is uh, it was based off of things of uh, of value, and it was about um, what human beings value. And if you align yourself and your your entire life around the things that you value the most. That is where you're going to be the most successful. And I, I listened to it and I was like, that makes a lot of sense, actually. In fact, that's probably 
the one thing that I learned or that I've ever heard that's make the most sense of anything in this world. And the person said, if you align your entire life around the things that you value the most, that you'll be the most successful in whatever it's going to be. And then I started to think about things that I value the most when I was a kid. Um, I was always outside, always. I liked riding bicycles, going fast, turning really hard, uh, jumping the bike. I had motorcycles. I liked riding motorcycles, jumping, going fast. I liked cars, going fast, going around corners, the performance of them. Everything kind of ties together if you look at my entire life and what I probably should be doing even as a, a living. So I was always outside. I was playing sports a lot because I was outside and I loved being outside. I got the car thing, the, the mountain biking thing I used to do, all, all that. Um, I like finance, especially when I started working. Fin- I went into finance and just dove right into it. I love finance. I love investing. I love making a priority. I, I was always a saver investor growing up, even when I was a little kid. I was like, I always want to save. I want to invest. And I think it's deep down inside of each person that these traits, you know, they're there. And what this person was basically saying, and I think they're completely right, is you need to go after those inherent values in yourself. You have to pursue it. You have to make it a priority. And if you don't, you're not going to like life as much. Uh, if you're doing these things that you really don't like doing, um, and you're doing them all the time, you're going to start not liking yourself. And I agree with that. Uh, I think that makes sense. Uh, because if you do things that you really, really like, it charges you up, and it does. And then if you do things that don't make any sense, it, it draws energy from you. And you start hating things more in, in your life. And I think that, I think that it makes sense um, from, from all those from all those aspects, if, if you like sit down and think about it. Because I've always been, you know, outside, um, doing sports, playing with these things. Uh, and my favorite job was actually working at a golf course because it was outside and I got to walk, walk the greens and mow them in basically a, a really cool surroundings. So my current job, it's nothing like anything <laughs> that, that I really like. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why I continue to search and, and look for other things is it doesn't align with my inner value. And I think that's where a lot of people are missing. So uh, I just want to kind of bring that up. Maybe I'll do another entire clip on this, but because uh, I'm kind of mulling it over right now myself. And there, I think there's a lot of value in it. So if you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for listening. This is Finding Value.